you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. If you're willing to decide what you want, believe it's possible. Consciously envision the future. Feel the feelings of what it would feel like if you had achieved this goal. You can have anything, and then you take action, both obvious actions and inspired actions. You can do anything. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. And you wonder, what's wrong with me? I'm not crazy. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Working on yourself, watching that inner dialogue, it will determine the quality of your life. Next thing is that you've got to activate the thinker in you. Don't allow your emotions to control you. We are emotional, but you want to begin to discipline your emotion. If you don't discipline and contain your emotions, they will use you. You know, have what you want. It is so painful to sit there and know that you didn't get what you wanted. If you're going to be successful in creating the life of your dreams, you have to believe that you are capable of making it happen. You have to believe that you have the right stuff and that you're able to pull it off. Now, whether you call it self-esteem, self-confidence, or self-assurance, it's a deep-seated belief that you have what it takes, the abilities, the inner resources, the talents, and the skills to create your desired results. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. The only thing you really have in your life is time. And if you invest that time in yourself to have great experiences that are going to enrich you, then you can't possibly lose. Focus on one thing. Make it your priority and stick with it no matter what. If you want to know how to decide if a career opportunity is a good one, there are several things you have to take into consideration. Number one, does it make your heart sing? The number one feedback system that you are given at birth is joy. If you're not experiencing joy as you, as you think about doing something and as you pursue doing it, then it's off course for you. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist, or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. But the real truth is that there's only one person responsible for the quality of your life, and that person is you. All of us experience pain. My challenge, don't just go through it, grow through it. That difficulty is an opportunity to get stronger, to develop character, to gain new confidence. Anybody can give up. Anybody can let it overwhelm you. But you know what that's doing? Wasting your pain. That pain is not there to stop you. It's there to prepare you, to increase you, to develop you. Sometimes your life will be in a slump. Just like sports. Some of the best shooters can't hit baskets different times in games. They get in a slump. Do they sit on the sideline and say, you know, I just didn't hit a basket today? No, they continue to execute. I suggest to you that if you are facing a challenge, don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Don't waste your pain. We all go through disappointments, setbacks, loss. Pain is a part of life. 
People wake up every morning, they have doubt, they have fear, they lose in a Ferrari race or they lose in a race, and then they just give up. But if you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, if you want to begin to really enjoy a happy, successful, healthy life, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. I'm coming back. And I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. You're standing up for your dreams. You're standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You want it. And you're going to go all out to have it. It's not going to be easy when you want to change. It's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. So every day you have to sell yourself and get out of your mind those old thoughts, that old belief system. Every day you've got to sell yourself on that it's possible. You don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. Always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. You gotta be hungry. The people that are hungry are willing to make it okay to fail. They are risk takers. The people that are hungry are willing to reinvent themselves, to develop themselves. They know you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. The people that are hungry have goals and practical steps that they engage in day in and day out. We believe what you don't know can't hurt you. What you don't know can kill you. Every day, you've got to begin to recondition your mind. See, many of us go through life making choices, thinking it's our choices, and it's not. You have talents, abilities, and skills that you don't even know that you have. Do you want to live a life of productivity? Do you want to live a life of contribution? Do you want to be a better father? Do you want to have your own business? Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, what shows up in conversation expectation shows up in behavior given the fact that you're very talented but you're behind on your dreams and your bills do expect based upon your performance based upon what you produce at this point in time in your life See, we live in a world where we believe that bad things are supposed to happen to us. Hold yourself to high standards, whatever you do. There's no saying, do not go where the path may lead, but go where there's no path and leave a trail. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale karma of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. You got to sacrifice before you reign. That's why the Bible says, judge it a tree by the fruit it bears, not the fruit that it wants. Treat people with respect. Treat them the way that you want to be treated. We are more than conquerors. That inner conversation will cause you when you leave here to go back leading a life of mediocrity, leading a life of unproductivity, leading a life of poverty. So I'm gonna share with you how to break out of that. If you can make a man feel inferior, you never have to compel him to seek an inferior status for he will seek it himself. And if you can make a man feel justly an outcast, you never have to order him to go to the back door. He'll go without being told. And if there's no door, his very nature will demand one.